Here we have some room temperature water, and in the test tube is some colored water, and the colored water is colder than the room temperature water. In that same container of water is some red dyed water, and this red dyed water is warmer than the room temperature water in the container. The test tubes are covered with some aluminum foil, and a barbecue skewer is going to poke holes through the foil. And here's the question, what do you predict will happen? Let's start off with the cold green water. And you can see the cold green water is sinking into the room temperature water. All right, so we're poking a hole into the hotter water, and let's see what happens. Well, it looks like the water, the hotter water, is rising. Well, why is that so? Well, that's because the warmer water is less dense than the cooler water. Think of it as a hot air balloon. Hot air balloon, you heat up the air, and the air molecules go faster and faster, making the air less dense than the surrounding cooler air, and so that's why the hot air balloon rises. Well, look what's happening now. Now the water is sinking. The colored water is sinking now. Well, why is that? Well, the temperature of the red water is equalizing to that of the clear water. It's cooled down. And naturally, with that, the colored material makes it more dense than the regular clear water. Think of it as like salt water versus fresh water. Salt water is more dense than fresh water. That's because it has all that salt in it to make it more dense. Same thing with this colored water here, and that's why that colored water is sinking now. It's cooled off, equalizing the temperatures, and so now it's sinking. 